A good Samaritan came to the aid of an elderly couple being victimized. If you don't help someone that's in need, you're a jerk. I'm still the best looking guy in the car. You should gain 50 pounds so no one else likes you so that <laughs> you can be together. Sex before, I'm a 24 year old virgin, if you can imagine that. You like kissing books? Please don't tell me you're recording me right now. Me and her that are on the date, not them two. So. Not here. Yeah, he's a ghost. Each delivery guy decided to turn crime fighter. You guys know about Skippy, the 40 year old virgin who's a bit too pushy, cringy, and everything else? I laid a big one on this man here. I Mr. got kissed by her, yeah. like on purpose, right? Of course you do. I talk about him all the time. It's my religion. It's not Mormonism, it's Skippyism. I've lately been questioning my Skippyism because the truth is, I have no idea where it comes from. You ever sometimes wonder, what the hell? Where exactly does this come from? That's what I've been wondering. What is the origin story of Skippy? Because we all know him as the real life 40 year old virgin. Everybody knows him as that. That's how I found him. But nobody ever questioned what happened before he was a 40 year old virgin. How did he get to the stage? What is his origin story? And today, we are gonna find that out. I found Skippy's first video, his first date from when he was 25. That is 15 years ago. And don't tell me that this is not gonna be the most amazing footage that you ever seen. Because I want to see how he acts at 25 and how he acts at 40. I want to see the origin story of an evil supervillain from Mormon Utah land, Salt Lake City. Like I said, I found the video. I found that first date that he's been on and a second one to see and compare how he's doing. And if you'll indulge me, today I'd like to take a look at that. I am Leo and uh, if you haven't subscribed then you are affecting my dog who has no legs. Literally holes full- look at this. That was so weird, but now you have to subscribe and I'll never do that again. If you don't subscribe, I will do that again. While you're at it, join me at 16leo underscore on Instagram. That way you can give me ideas for the new video or just tell me you like the NASA show. I think it's pretty cool. Also, Skippy, I did think about this one. I'm introducing someone today. This is Shelly. I'm gonna put it right here. Now this is what happens when you actually go on a date and say the right thing. Whatever Skippy says, I'm gonna react to. I've never seen it before, but if he says something weird, I'm gonna try and teach him by pretending that this pillow here is a person and saying the correct thing. Maybe he'll listen and suddenly become a sexual icon. Who knows? All right, so to start off with every original story, it's a hero. Even the villain was once a normal person. And our super villain story starts off with Skippy as a hero, believe it or not. Back in the day, he used to be a pizza delivery guy. And guess what? He actually solved a crime. Yeah. A good Samaritan came to the aid of an elderly couple being victimized near downtown Salt Lake. One of the couple was blind and they were both selling candy on 9th South, just off State Street, when a woman walked up, grabbed their box of cash and took off. ABC4's Buddy Blankenfeld joins us with the man who would not give up the search for the robber. Buddy? Okay, so only in Utah will you have this story. Blind people selling candy, some methed out person robs the blind person selling candy because they think that's enough money to do anything. And also a reporter whose literal name is Buddy talking about another man whose name is Skippy. You're not gonna find that in New York City. You might find that in New York shitty, but not. That's a, that's a Utah thing. Started about a mile away when a tenacious pizza delivery guy decided to turn crime fighter. Meet Skippy Jessup. He's a pizza delivery guy with a simple philosophy. If you don't help someone that's in need, you're a jerk. <laughs> the classic phrase. If you don't help someone in need, you're, you're, you're a stupid idiot. Jessup was working yesterday delivering a pizza to this business when he heard a cry for help. The little say, lady said, uh, someone robbed me. It was a lady and she was on a bike. As soon as I heard the word lady and on a bike, I, I jetted off. I was like, not only am I going to uh, return the money, but I might get her number. You know what I mean? I feel like Skippy heard the word lady and that was it for him. He was ready. He didn't need to hear any more about the story. I is blind and we've seen him around here a million times. They come by selling their candy bars and they're just this cute little couple. And Jessup gets a quick description of the robber and takes off after her, determined to get the elderly couple money back. If that was my grandma, if that was my grandpa, I'd want to get the money for them. I'd want to uh, be able, I'd hope that there would be someone there to be able to help them in their time of need. He figures the two will want to spend their stolen cash, so he heads to the nearest store at 13th South, 3rd East, and on the way gets some inspiration as he passes Liberty Park. I saw two people on bikes 
standing there talking. And so, like, the spirit said to me, that's them. Turn around and go, you know, go follow them. The spirit of who? The spirit of Pizza Hut, you know? The Mr. Hut. Daniel Hutt from Pizza Hut. So he, he had the spirit guiding him. He had the pepperoni spirit guiding him to save this crime. It's crazy. Arrested are 23-year-old Chantelle DeVille and her boyfriend, 28-year-old Buddy Flitton. His name's Buddy too? The reporter's name is Buddy. Skippy's name is Skippy. This guy's name is Buddy. How many Buddies do we have in Utah? Oh, Pal Winters here talking, filling in for Buddy Ch Champ, filling in for Homie Steve. Seeing them get thrown in cuffs, I mean, like, honestly, that was the best part of my day yesterday. Now Skippy Jessup is considering a career change. Maybe I should quit my job being a pizza guy and maybe I should just go into crime fighting instead. But he says, no, there are no superhero pizza guys. We say there is now. Nice. So anyway, that was the story. Skippy starts off as a hero. Unfortunately, it is very short-lived because Skippy's heroism has nothing to do with his dating life. Just like many superheroes, Spider-Man, that's the only one I can think of who's not that good with goals. He saved the day, he can't save a woman. Oh, well, a woman can't save him either. Because as I said, he filmed his first date, and this was back when he was 25. So a lot of people might be watching this in a 25. Think about like a date that you had. I think we've all had bad dates. I've had a pretty awkward date once in my life. Um, I was fine with it. It's It was pretty funny, honestly, but I've never done it for 15 years consecutively. I would like to see Skippy's first ever date that he filmed. So the whole reason I'm going out tonight is there is this girl named Rachel that I actually uh, met at my church group about a year ago. I just want to say already off the bat, this is way better than any of his actual videos. Um, he has like different camera shots that I've never seen in any other videos. Because when he holds the camera, his hands are pretty shaky from the nervousness, I think. Or maybe he just has shaky hands. Why didn't he do every date like this? I actually really appreciate the camera angles here. That's pretty cool. I'm going to ask her out tonight. There's a share concert next week. And I'm really hoping that she'll agree to go with me as my date. Growing up in Utah, uh, when it comes to um, girls and when it comes to uh, what comes natural to people at our age, we avoid almost all of it, uh, or at least I do. Anyway, so uh, I've never had sex before. I'm a 24-year-old virgin, if you can imagine that. I can imagine that. And guess what, Skippy? There's nothing wrong with being 24 and a virgin. I'm practically the same age. But hey, listen, it's fine. There's no, there's nothing wrong with not doing it. There's no social pressure. Please don't put that on yourself. That's never been the issue, just by the way, Skippy. The fact that you're a virgin is the least problematic thing about you. It's how you approach the situation that everybody seems to have a problem with. And so uh, just trying to save myself for that one special lady hi, hi. Are, you? are you are you sure it's okay like yeah okay sure. okay just, just go for ice cream. ice cream yeah just real quick yeah you ready yeah. You go. I'm ready. okay what the hell did I just watch hi I, uh uh, uh are, you, are you sure it's okay? Do you want maybe just ice cream? Maybe just uh, ice cream? Okay, here, watch this, Skippy. Damn, you look, you look more scrumptious than the vanilla ice cream, baby. Oh, wait, you're too cute. Thank you. How about... Okay, don't do that, but like, you know what I mean. Just hello, you look nice. Are you ready to go, baby? Let's go. Corey from our ward asked you out last night. Yes. Cool. Yeah, I guess. Good guy. <laughs> nice. Okay. I wouldn't talk about other people asking the girl out. Like, say I'm on a Tinder date, which I've never been on. I, d I wouldn't know how to do this. But, like, say I was on one, I don't think I'd be like, hey, so, so you have a lot of other guys trying to bang you, right? How's that going? Is it, Do they get into your pantaloons much? Do I have a chance? Don't talk about the other guy. Today is about me and you. Today is about us. Do you like him like that? Oh god. Ugh, fuck. I just press play. Do you like Do you really like him? Do you, uh, are you thinking about the kids' names? Because I've thought about a couple kids' names for you. Shelly and Leo, Cleo. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I think I do. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I do. Yeah, I think I do. Classic. Let's like go up and like look at the view over Salt Lake. Have you been up there before? Is that cool? Yeah. So you kiss boys before? Yeah. Bro is 24 years old. So you. So so have you kissed have you kissed boys before? <laughs> have you kissed boys? You can we can we not say that at that like at a certain age saying the word boys it has like certain implications you don't want to have like you know hey Leo have you kissed uh have you kissed little girls before what 
Hell no. I kiss a woman. That's it. Hey Shelly, have you kissed boys before? Have you kissed them boys before? Would you like would you like a kiss from a real boy? Mm -hmm. How about that? How about let's not say that? How about hey, how you doing? What's good? Did you like the ice cream? You like the city? You like kissing boys? Better, I do. Like, I'm sorry, that was a yes. random comment on my part. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Rachel. Oh, shit and poo-poo head. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be this bad. I thought at 24, he'd somehow have more game. I thought maybe the game got worse over time because he's like, these girls are just confusing. I don't know what to do. Uh, he, he had less game at 24. So, so you like kissing boys? Is that, you, you like that, huh? It's turned into like an interrogation. Like he's a good cop, bad cop. I don't know what to say. This guy's 24 doing this. And he also, 24, he's not in bad shape. He's a good looking dude, I think. Well, good enough. All you need is the confidence. Just the confidence to be like, damn, Rachel. You remind me of Rachel from Friends, except sexier. And she'd be like, <gasps> I brought you up here for a reason. Okay. Oh, God. I have flowers for you. Oh, wow. Thanks, Scott. The next part. The next part. The, this is the next part, shall I? Sorry for putting my face in your thighs there. I was just looking for uh, the chocolates. Uh, yeah, I bought you flowers, even though we're like midway through the date. Yeah, by the time we're finished with the date, I'm gonna give you that chocolate. I've got something for you. I'm not sure if you can see this, but these are little toy boats. Let's call this a friendship. <laughs> and... This is a friendship too, right? <laughs> that is tough, man. That is tough. Oh, look. What was that? A ghost, because you're gonna be ghosting me very soon. So no wonder he turned into an evil super villain virgin. This is the origin story. This is literally the worst date that I've seen, and it's in real time. It's like five minutes of just cringe. Oh man, this was a 24, Scott. You had the Kobe number, rest in peace. We've been, you know, sailing these little friendships, you know, for a while and stuff like that. Like a year, right, wouldn't you say? Okay, so we're sailing the friendship, but there's another boat that's in the harbor. You ready for this, huh? I don't know. Huh? This boat is called a relationship. I like how he's schooling her on this shit as if she doesn't know any of the general concepts of humanity. This is called a mobile telephone. You use it to call me. When we're in a relationship, you talk about your relation shit to me. You know what I mean? Now, this is tissues. When I was a virgin, I used these for a very different thing. When I'm in a relationship, I'm just gonna use it to cry when you break up with me. You got it? Showing her analogies of boats. This is the Titanic. Uh, my, my chances with you are sinking. Here's the thing though. I think there's a way to go from a friendship to a relationship. And in order to get to the relationship, we have to share things. You ready for this? To bridge the gap between this and this, hold yours up. Get the fuck out the car, Rachel. Get out the car. Shelly, uh, it's over for you. Just leave, <laughs> leave. We share things. Do you see this? Do you see this? Yeah. Okay, it says share. Yeah. There's the share concert coming up. And what I attempted to do not so smoothly was bring you up here and ask you if you'll go with me to the share concert. Let me auto tune this shit. Do you believe in love, life after love? Because you shouldn't. Because you really shouldn't, Skippy. I have, like I said, I've never seen this before. And now that I've seen this, I wish I never had seen it. I just want to let you know right now, I, I think of you just a friend. And Scott, I think you're a great guy. But. Oh, look at his face. He didn't even change emotion. Scott, I just think of you as a friend. <laughs> look, 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 Skippy. This is Shelly. Hey, I see you as a friend. Me? Oh, okay. Hey, listen, I'm going to drop you off home. I'm not going to talk to you again because I don't want to pursue this uh, friendship anymore. Maybe I'm being a mean person, but hey, if you don't want a friendship, you don't want a friendship. They're not entitled to having one. If it makes you both feel better, then maybe you should just leave that friendship. I know it's a like, you know, selfish thing to do, but wouldn't you rather have someone be selfish instead of pretend that they don't have feelings for you or suppress them? So Skippy, I, I really, I'm sorry that she doesn't feel that way about you, but you need to protect yourself. Otherwise, you're going to end up a virgin in another 16 years, which already happens. 
so I don't know why I'm saying this, but. Is it short, fat, white, and desperate in here, or is it just me? What the heck? I'm just like feeling so awkward. I'm sorry, Scott. It's okay, we're still friends. Awkward, end of the night hug. I just, not sure. I just, yeah. Sure. Hey, Shelly, can we still, can we still hug it out? Just no. Please stop. Yeah. No more. I just, I, I... There is a man in Utah and he every now and again terrorizes white women. Why do I keep saying white woman? Has, have you ever seen him on a date with anyone else other than a white woman? I would love to see him with a black woman. A black woman could take him to church, sing some gospel. I need, Skippy needs Jesus. Really. Oh, he's a Mormon. My bad. Sorry. I'm sorry, Skippy. My bad. Perhaps not. You, you sure it's okay? Sure, Scott. Okay. Thank you. You know it would be a boss move if he was like, uh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure I don't like you. All right, well, give me them flowers. I'll give them to someone who actually cares about me. She, I'm Scott Jesse. I, I would have been mildly surprised if he did that. You know, I'm not even sure right now if I'm totally going to the Cher concert with her. <laughs> but all in all, I still feel pretty good. I mean, I'm still the best looking guy in the car. Hot, broken Skippy sold his tickets to the Cher concert. Damn, that's tough. But as you can tell, Skippy has been getting rejected for a while now. He should be able to take it better. And listen, as a very mediocre to horrible looking man, I, I've been rejected once, twice, when I was young. It sucked my ass cheeks. It's been very traumatizing. It's not easy. But I think that I have to level with myself and be like, not everybody is going to see this amazing face and think, yeah, I want to sit on it. You know what I mean? And I have to just be okay with that. So rejection is a part of life. I think it's how you handle it and how you move on and learn from it but the thing is if you haven't made any improvements in 16 years did you really learn but he still claims his undying love for rachel so yeah that's uh skippy's first ever date and i didn't think it was gonna be as cringy as it was but hey it was so it's been a year skippy's now 25 maybe he's 26 you'd think that after this traumatic harrowing experience he's learned something and learned how to better value his emotions and treat himself he knows his self-worth because he's learned that he is more than just someone to walk over right oh god here's the next date so here she is. By the way, this is filmed in a potato quality. I have nothing to do with this. Skippy decided that he wanted to make a potato camera thing. If anything, it makes it even better because if it was in HD, it would have been all the more cringy. She's getting in the car. Please don't tell me you're recording me right now. Right now, yes, I am. Okay, so we start off with Skippy recording a date and she doesn't know because she's like, please don't tell me you're recording me right now. So let's let's play out the scene, shall we? Please don't tell me you're recording me right now. Hell no, of course not. I'll put the camera away till after the first date. Till we get to the bedroom, shall we? Don't say that. Don't don't say that. I was joking about that. Don't say that. That's uh, Paige Clegg. So I've decided that uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, video journal our uh, date together. <laughs> Well, okay, this is two times now the woman is like, No! I wish I could jump out the car. If she says no, you comply. Because if a woman says no, 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 you say, Okay, you're right. My bad. Consent is a thing. We both need to have it in order to do something. I want to cameras. Oh, this is, well, look at this as kind of a video camera. It's no, like I hate video cameras the more than I do cameras. Why? You are so ridiculously cute. You should not hate things that prove to people how cute you are. I mean, that's just creepy. That's just creepy. Say, say someone held a camera on me and I was like, please, no cameras. And they're like, why? It makes you look so cute, bruh. Come on, bruh. I get very annoyed. I get very annoyed. So Skippy growing up has some, somehow learned less. I think he would have earned so many brownie points if he was like, oh man, I'm sorry. You're right. You don't want the camera on you? Done. It's over. I'm taking the camera. It's, it's just you and me today. No. Did you really meet him? Oh, that, uh, she's looking at a picture of me with the prophet of the Mormon church. Uh, <laughs> and yes, I really did meet him. That's like actually a picture that proves it. So, so we're going to go eat some food and uh, chit some chat. And we're just going to bring the camera along to kind of uh, be our friend okay. there. Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing? You look great. Thank you. Doesn't she look great? 
Yes, but you don't need to tell me. And I keep saying this. The reason Skippy has the camera out is because he's a conflicted individual. He wants the goal, but he also wants the fame. And he doesn't know which one he wants more, so he tries to have them both. He is a more man. That is one of the greatest jokes I have made in my life. Okay, and, and by the way, well, no, I'll uh, ask more questions as we're actually there. And we've got some time between when okay. we order and when the food gets there to chit the chat. Okay, good times. See you guys soon. So this video is filmed in five parts. I have no idea where this date is going, but uh, hey, I'm here to watch it. What's your name again? Kelly. Okay, so uh, Kelly is our <laughs> server. Okay, so um, so we've arrived at Rib City, and uh, we have just gotten served our food. God damn, that camera looks nice, man. I love that pixel quality. Looks like a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas from 2004. All right, man. Skippy should be a playable character in Grand Theft Auto next. What did you get? Chicken fry or chicken tender basket. Tender basket. <laughs> And I got this, which I've been craving this stuff since the last time I was here. We're here, and this is our waitress. What do you think of us as a couple? Nope. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Can I get you anything else? Yeah, an opinion on this as a couple. How about this? Even though you're on a date. Even though you're on a date. Don't bring other people into your weird situationship thing here. Please, Skippy. You've done like three, four red flags already. Now, regardless of, regardless of how much I tip you, what's your honest <laughs> opinion? Let's say I was to give you like a, a 50 cent tip. Would you, what would your still honest opinion of <laughs> us as a couple be? I would say you're both, you seem both really outgoing and funny. Does this guy say a 50 cent tip? Like a 50 cent album? What are you going to tip? 50 cents? That's mean, bro. That's not, that's very mean. That's not a lot of monies. That's very shitty of you, Skippy. Really? She's really cute, huh? Yeah, she is. Like, Great if, you know, eyelashes. if you saw us walking down the street, would you be like, I get that? Or like, would you be like, he's way lucky? Or would you be like, she's way lucky? <laughs> That's Sir, I just, I asked like, is your dinner okay? And then you said, am I a snack? And I said, I don't know how to answer that. And then you said, is she a snack? To which I said, yes. And then now you're asking me about your kid's names. I, I just, can I refill your cup, please? I I hate how he just literally harasses people and brings them into this conversation that they don't want to have. They don't need to take part in this weird, awkward thing. You're just really making this waitress do things that she doesn't want to. And she already probably doesn't want to be there. So don't involve the waitress. You and your date, okay? Yeah, no, because... on the spot. But that's okay, right? Yeah. This might even make it to the YouTube. Oh my gosh. Are you okay with that? Maybe even put it on the Facebook? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll tag you. <laughs> I'll tag you with that. All right, uh, we'll move We'll uh, move on with the conversation okay. and stuff, but uh, let her go back enjoy to work. Enjoy your meal. Yeah, we'll enjoy yeah. our meal. All right. <laughs> Look, I'm on a date with her. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm gonna do her. <laughs> I thought the I thought the ones towards the end were the cringy ones. The ones at the start. Oh my goodness! So now we move on to part three. It's a five-part date. So we're here at uh, Rib City, and look, it's our friend Mark. Now, Mark is the guy that's doing a documentary on me. Right, um, why is Mark here? I thought this was a date. You know, I I love my homies. They're great friends. Not bringing them on the date with me with the goal, unless, of course, we're partaking in that group activity that some people do. But I'll tell you what, I'm not a fan of it. So, quite frankly, I do not want to see my homies gonads, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I digress. Don't bring your friend on a date. It's me, Shelly. Stay away, okay? You know what I mean? Get out of the scene. I said get out. I brought his camera, but then we found out that uh, Rib City doesn't like people uh, filming inside their place. So Mark came over, was going to film us, and then um, when it came to getting food, what did he get? He got the exact same thing as me. Um, how would you say the date is going with us so far? Here's the thing though, they're sitting across from me like they're the ones that are on the date, which is really weird. Maybe I should be sitting closer to my date, but that's okay. Is that really a thing, by the way? I genuinely thought that the dates sat across from each other. I was actually on a date. I don't think me and Shelly should be like this. I think it would have been opposite. It seems less like a date, but I guess that's like a personal thing. I personally like sitting across from the person. This has nothing to do with anything. I just wanted to talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what it looks like. They are not on a date. Me and her that are on the date, not them two. So, yeah, he's a go. Still on the date, still going well. I'm really enjoying it because this is my view. Hello. 
I would assume and venture that a lot of girls get self-conscious when they're filmed. And then when they're filmed while they're eating, you gotta have no shame. You gotta have Nikocado, avocado level of no shame. These are certain things that you just probably wouldn't ask a girl like, hey, how fat are you? Like, that's maybe not the first question. I think you ruined your chances as soon as you turn the camera on. It's glowing, it's not that light. It's like the natural hey, beauty that is uh, Paige. She's looking really cute for a person eating sandwich. She doesn't even have like that, ooh, that's disgusting <laughs> going into your mouth look. It's like, wow, she looks hot when she eats. She looks hot when she eats. That's a lie. Nobody looks hot when they eat, except Nikocado, but Skippy, I feel like you're overdoing it. How about you enjoying that food? Yeah, it's pretty nice, right? Do you know any other places that we could eat at maybe on our second day? Hey, you seen any good movies? I heard that new Batman is out. You want to see it? No. Shit, I'll protect. I'll be your Robin. I'll rob that. Panties. Okay, not that part, but like everything else was all right. And she's really good at conversation. I don't want this to be all about her looks because as I've told her before, if she gained 50 pounds, I would still like this girl. She's that cool. All right, bye. We're gonna talk about red flags and you're gonna talk about things like how to self-improve and things. That This is one of the biggest ones. Telling a girl that if she got gained 50 pounds, you still like them. It would be cute if that's your girlfriend. If it's a girl on a first date, it's very creepy. Circumstance is a very um, specific thing and it's very important to a situation. Saying, hey, um, I'd like to name our kids uh, Julie and Sam. It's very cute when you're married for 10 years and you're thinking of having kids. Saying it to someone at the bus stop who you, you never met before, creepy. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's move on to part four. This is already just a train wreck and a half, I gotta say. Okay, so we just got done eating. Mark went his way. We're now uh, about to uh, drive home, so I'm being safe right now. We haven't actually started driving. I really would accept that, but I've seen him on multiple occasions putting the camera there and driving. You're gonna do this. This is future Leo telling you that future Skippy hasn't changed much. Not as much as you would like him to change. You should come back with me again some other time. <laughs> do you think we'll end up going on a date dose? Maybe when I get back from California. When are you going to California? All right, here's a lesson in confidence. Uh, this is coming from someone who has zero confidence. Don't do that. Don't say something and then be like, was that good? There's a difference between someone being self-conscious. Can I tell you something? And I think every girl who's watching this will back you, back me up. I'm pretty sure. We'll talk about heights, right? Guy's heights. When a guy keeps talking about how self-conscious he is about being short or blah, 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 eventually the girl's gonna be like, yeah, you know what? You're right. But if a dude who's like whatever height is just like, yeah, it is what it is. I'm happy with who I am. I don't care. If that person has the confidence, you tend to forget get as well you're like oh damn i forgot just own it skippy whatever it is that you like whatever you are whoever you are be that person then nobody else can be exactly what you are that's what makes you you and if you know that then you know you're worth look i may be a solid three out of ten but i know my world and if anybody wants to leave i'll just open the door for the next person i'll see you on the way out bye shelly yeah it doesn't have to be like tomorrow or something yeah. like that Come on. Yeah. Come oh, that's right. We got. Oh, crap. Uh, she's oh, got to no, be in class. Uh, we're going to drive home. I'm supposed to mention um, funny guys are hot and Skippy is hilarious. So. Is that right? <laughs> hey. Hey. That's a compliment. Let's see how Skippy takes it. Because here's the thing. So are you, you don't have to say it like this, but if you wanted to in your own way say, are you attracted to funny guys that take you out on dates? Yes. Skippy should have been like, well, then that makes me the Brad Pitt of Utah, doesn't it? Something like that would have been great. Some, Something like that, maybe, Skippy. So you said that and you uh, you meant that about me or I just want to clarify that. Just make sure you're, you're there. All right. Nice. Really? So maybe um, you would make the world a better place and put a kiss on Skippy's face. Is that okay. something that could be happening? Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? This man is not gonna be distributing his semen. Uh uh. Oh no. Yeah, he's been doing it for 14 years, making that shitty merchandise. Make the world a better place, put a kiss on Skippy's face. Uh, right in the this region? Okay, on the cheek. There we go. <laughs> this woman actually probably gave Skippy the best date that he ever had. She was pretty into it. She seemed so relaxed. She had that calming energy about her. She didn't overdo it. She managed to pretty much evade all of the weird awkwardness that Skippy brings onto a date. She saw Skippy's shitty shirt and still was like, hey, damn, Skippy, you literally won. How did you mess this up? I need to know. Yikes, do I get a hug too? 
Yeah. Let's go for a premature hug. A what? Oh, shit, son. A premature hug? God, I never even heard that in my life before. Okay. I mean, like, it's not, I mean, like, it's not the end of the date, but, you know, like, the... <laughs> there you are, friend. Are you friends on her in the middle of... <laughs> Help me, help me. Here we are, friend. My hand is kind of cold, you know? Yeah. And so if you want to warm it up with your hands, right? Oh my goodness <laughs> sakes. Holy cow. So uh, I'm gonna use my other hand to drive and this hand is not going to leave this position. Okay. I mean, I'm surprised at the fact that she's actually holding his hand, maybe because he's holding her hostage. I'm not sure. But damn, this is Skip Skippy's moveset. You know, my hand is uh, cold and if you would like to uh, please warm it up. I've, I've just never heard anyone sort of like plead for things before he's literally literally asking for handouts i've just never seen this in a relationship this is like a literal beggar and he's begging for the smoochies <laughs> you know every i don't think you need to be super charming i think if you're just a normal decent person you can attract people i think everybody does this stuff however this is crazy, man. I, if a girl was like, you know, I'm so cool. I wish someone would hold me. I'd be like, yeah, maybe you should find someone and maybe you should buy a jacket. I don't know. Wait, I'm starting to blush. Wait, I'm starting to blush. <laughs> uh, I'll stop for now. Wow. Like, see. That was like an orgasmic wow, wasn't it? Wow. <laughs> I gotta leave the car. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Shelly. I gotta leave the car. You don't want, don't look down. Every nerdy guy watching this should be like high-fiving. Way to go, dude. And like, she's not even, you're not even pulling back, right? Like, she's holding my hand almost as much as I'm holding hers. You're gorgeous. <laughs> I adore you. You're gorgeous. I adore you. He starts talking to her like he's in the WWE. <laughs> At WrestleMania 22, I'm gonna put you down and make you tap out in the bedroom. Scott Jessup first. I forgot your name. Lady, uh, lady, lady. That's her name. You should gain 50 pounds so no one else likes you so that we can be together. And this is where I completely lost faith in Skippy. I literally heard this. I was streaming at the time. By the way, you should join me at uh, twitchtv.com slash 16leo. It upset me that much because he said, you should gain 50 pounds so nobody else will like you so that I can have you all to myself. That is easily the most toxic thing I've ever heard. Even as a joke, that is such disgusting, despicable, vile behavior. First of all, if she gains 50 pounds, she'll be just as lovable if you're happy and you're own skin that's fine as much as i joke about it i never actually judge someone for being a certain weight that's stupid secondly to be that possessive that you want someone else to look worse or do worse so that they can't do better than you is such a power dynamic it's just so hurtful to hear someone actually do that or encourage that behavior it's so manipulative it's so toxic and even as a joke it's i was not prepared to hear skippy say that i i had lost a lot of respect for him when i heard that. Uh, you, you know, like I joke about him and I still, I don't think he's a bad person. I really don't. But just saying that, I think that you need to question that judgment. And that was some, that was one of the low lights watching this really. So I would never do that. I want my partner to look so good that everybody wished that they were in my position. I will hype the hell out of her every day. I just, I do not believe in this. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I have a hard time gaining weight. Yeah. That that's going to suck for know. your husband's going to hate that about you. Yeah. How know. tall are you? I'm five, five, five foot five. Oh, that's so perfect for cuddling with me. <laughs> wow. We and that's how it ends. It ends on, we, you're 5'5", five five? perfect for cuddling. Oh, damn, 5'5", five five. that, mm-hmm, 5'5", five five, I feel alive, baby. Look, I don't know what to say about this. I, I, I can't believe that it ends like that. That's really stupid, that it just randomly ends the way that it ends. I went on his page, I looked to see if there was any other videos, Um, but that's how it ends. That is literally how it ends. The next video is what just happened, and it's a whole different goal. So we never really find out what happens to this goal. We never find out what happens on the date. There's no closure, I assume she doesn't call him back because he never talks about it again and if he did he'd probably dedicate a whole channel to this woman the thing is skippy relies on people so much that if someone showed him enough attention he'd probably make a shrine of them and scare them away it's sort of like hey arnold my favorite girl helga pataki you know her she she used to hate arnold call him football head bully him but behind closed doors she literally had a shrine of him she loved this man and he didn't know it the thing is helga was a toxic bitch i'm sorry but she was if she just told arnold that man i love your head 
head. I love that football sexy head, man. He'd probably like go back and be like, man, I love those pigtails and the monobrow. That's 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 a fire look. They'd have like football headed monobrow babies. It would be beautiful. What I'm trying to say is that Skippy should be himself. And he should not try and bring people down to his level, but instead aspire to get himself into a position where he attracts people because he's doing so well for himself. And I don't mean financially. I mean spiritually. I mean physically. I mean mentally. If you're mentally sound, if you're physically sound, if you're charismatic, yes, if you have money, those things attract other people because people are attracted to other people who have their shit together. And if there's anything that I've learned from this video, it's that in 16 years, Skippy has not found what he needs to get his shit together. And that is why he is in the exact same position he was in all that time ago. So it's a sad supervillain story. The fact is the supervillain is still the same. This is like if the Green Goblin for 20 years was still going around chasing Spider-Man and the Spider-Man had a kid and family and stuff and the Green Goblin's still like, come on Spidey, I want to throw bombs at you. So it's a sad supervillain story. As usual, I hope Skippy finds himself. As usual, I hope Skippy finds himself. I really hope to see this man succeed. I don't want anybody not to succeed. I hope that he learns to love himself because you have to love yourself before other people could love you and on that note i'm out me and shelly got a date today i'm taking a ben and jerry's I have they got that new ice cream flavor called ass oh they do let's go get some ass <laughs> taste that all right i'll see you guys on the next one as usual thank you for watching i i hope you enjoyed the video leave a comment down below and um take care of yourselves bye bye love you she ain't even got a ass she did a dash and bit a last you know it does and she know they feel like